perfect, perfect, perfect. Hey guys, this is Chris, and today is Christmas Eve 2014. So Merry Christmas to you, and I hope you're having a great holiday. Now today I wanted to make another coffee and comments video because I actually like this idea for a series, and I only made one of these videos so far. So I wanted to do this a little bit more often. Um, I made a couple videos recently, and I got some good comments, and I just wanted to have some coffee and enjoy my Christmas Eve. So today we're gonna get into it right away. Uh, I got my nice new iPad here to read some comments, and uh, let's get started. So I got my coffee with some nice pumpkin spice creamer in there. Mmm, delicious. All right, so recently I did a video showing how to make, or how to use the Line 6 Amplify amp as an interface. They just released a new firmware update, so now you can actually use the USB output to do something. A lot of people were really upset whenever they bought the Amplify and it was, there's a lot of secrecy of like, what, what's the USB going to be used for? So now you can use the USB port to uh, hook it up to a computer or in the video I showed how to hook it up to the iPad and record the Amplify sounds into your uh, iPad. So um, this first comment is from Andrew Bonica and he said, hey Chris, have you tested it? being the Amplify as an interface for the Jamit iPad app. I'm thinking about getting the Amplify 75, which is $276 on Sweetwater right now, and possibly the Sonicport VX to use with Jamit, among other things. I love Jamit, but I have no way of interfacing to my iPad in order to use the Line 6 presets in Jamit. If you currently use it or could possibly download it and test it with one of the free tracks and let me know, I'd really appreciate it. Amplify definitely won't replace my studio or live rig, but that was never the intention. I love the concept, ease, and capabilities. Rock on. Metal symbol. So thanks for the comment, Andrew. Andrew uh, left some other good comments on some videos. So thanks for the comments, Andrew. And um, to talk about this real quick, I actually just downloaded Jamit and uh, Bias and a couple, I'm, I'm really getting into the iPad. I really like a lot of the uh, apps that they have, but I haven't tested it yet um, with or using the Amplify as an interface or anything like that. Um, but as I research more and get into the iPad, I'll definitely dive into that and make, maybe make some more videos showing that. Um, I'm really excited about that. I, I just love the possibilities that the iPad gives you. So um, once again, really excited about that. Um, so I don't have any answers for you there, but I do think that the Sonic port is a really great thing. Um, I haven't purchased one yet. The VX looks really, really cool. I'd like to purchase that soon. That would be a lot of fun to have with the iPad. Um, but um, so yeah, to answer your question, no, haven't done it yet, but I plan on doing something like that. So, thank you again, Andrew, for the comment. Ooh. Mmm. Very good coffee. All right, so this next one is from Carlos Cordova. And this, and then Philip, uh, Philip Ryan Chameleon, uh, he, he uh, piggybacked off of this. So Carlos said, great man, talking about the video, I'm assuming. Do you publish your tones to the, I, or to the cloud? And then Ryan said, seconding Carlos here, that tone you use sounds amazing. May we get the name of that tone? I'd love to give it a go. Now, uh, I haven't really gone into the whole publishing my tones to the iCloud yet, or the cloud for the Amplify Amp, um, but I really will do that soon because it seems like a lot of people do want some of the tones they see in the video. Um, but uh, to be quite honest, what I typically do with the Amplify um, I make a lot of presets just straight based off of ambient delay. Ambient delay is one of the presets that comes on the amp. And then all I do is really tweak that a little bit here and there. I just, I love the way the amp sounds right out of the box. It has a really, a lot of really great sounds. 
So typically what I'll do is, is take that ambient delay and add a, you know, a tube screamer on it in the front and um, you know, crank that up and that's usually a really, really good lead tone. Um, but yeah, so uh, hopefully I'll be publishing these tones really soon and get them out to you guys. So thank you Carlos and Philip for those comments. Next one comes from Anders Person, P-E-R-S-S-O-N. And he said, uh, speaking of the uh, iPad video with the Amplify, he said, great video as always. Has the Amplify amp replaced your HD 500X? Now this is a really good question and something I really wanted to talk about. As you can see, um, I still have my HD 500X. I still love my HD 500X, um, but has it replaced it? Uh, has the Amplify replaced it? This is, a, this is a very tough question. I'm glad we are going over this today because the truth is is that I just really love the Amplify. I know that's, you know, it, it may seem like, um, you know, I don't know what people really feel about it. Um, all I know is that it's a great amp. It does exactly what I like to do. And I love the iPad and I love the iPhone. And now you can use it with Android and all these other things. But just to be able to sit here with my iPad and do all the all the adjustments and everything it's awesome literally I put my iPad right here and uh, I'll just sit here and play and I have all the controls right here I mean it's so such a really really cool concept um, has it replaced the HD 500X it, it hasn't completely I mean I love my HD 500X because it does have um, the Variax <coughs> excuse me it does have the Variax connection and the L6 connections and all those things, and it really is an amazing pedal. But to be honest, I, I think the Amplify has a better system. The Amplify has the capability to honestly just sit here with an iPad and tweak away, and it's so much fun. Uh, now, I used to have the HD500X underneath my uh, desk here, and it was just it was really hard to use. And even like I put it up here because I want to use it more um, and actually be able to tweak a lot of stuff, but. The, I mean, the screen is really easy to use. Not, nothing's made it more difficult. It's just the Amplify has such um, a good interface to it, and every, it, it's just a really, really fun amp, and it, it suits me well. Um, now, a lot of people really hear a difference. A lot of people, were, they hear the Amplify and they go, oh, I can tell that's X3 technology, which is the previous generation. And then they hear HD and, they, and, and they're like, wow, that's amazing. You know, I can totally tell that's different. Honestly, I love playing guitar. And I, you know, there's other people out there that maybe are, are, they can hear a lot of difference. I can't really hear a difference. Um, I'm sure if you put them in a, in a special environment and put them next to each other, you'd hear a whole bunch of differences maybe, but I can't. I just love to sit down and play and to, to have the functionality that you have with all this stuff, it's a lot of fun. And I honestly, I didn't think the X3 sounded bad. Uh, I thought it, you know, I didn't own it myself, um, but I, I think it sounded good. So I, I think everything in the Amplify sounds amazing. You get the X3 technology, I guess, but then you get all the amazing effects that you get. I think you get all the effects from the Ampli or from the HD 500. But anyways, but thanks for the question, Andrew, or sorry, Anders. Anders person. Okay, Anders person. Thanks for the question and thanks for watching the videos, guys. It's really awesome. Um, I keep talking and I want some more coffee. Mm. All right, all right, okay, cool. So, this last question, or last comment, is from Alan Gildia. Alan said, Nice one, Chris. Tasty wee setup you have there. I like that comment. That's very nice. I do like my new setup and I like my new Christmas lights because it's Christmas time. Um, so thanks Alan for the comment and thanks for watching the videos. But this last comment really make me, made me want to show you guys what I have going on here. And you may see some new things and you may wonder, okay, what's your setup now? So this is also my Christmas 2014 studio setup video. So I'm gonna keep on enjoying my coffee, but now I'm gonna bring you guys around and kind of show you real quick of all my stuff. So let's take a peek. So guys, when you come into my basement here from the outside, this is my new living room area here. Got the nice Christmas tree. That's usually where I sit. And then this is Jamie's couch, Jamie and Daisy's couch. 
and here's our great Christmas tree. And there's my loud dehumidifier. But let's go in here. Now this is the dark area over here. Here's my cool Pittsburgh toilet. I don't know if they have these everywhere. We call it the, the Pittsburgh toilet. And then here's our dark little storage area for junk. And here's my new studio, guys. So I'm rocking the, uh, the, the Line 6 Variac still. I love this guitar in Lake Placid Blue. I think that's the, the name of it. Probably not. Um, still drinking my coffee here. Boom. Ah, great. And here's my uh, Amplify down there. And I also have a little power box there. Uh, now that little box with the light on actually sl supplies power for my brand new, well new to me, Line 6 Variax bass. I just got this bass back in June and I love it. Uh, I think it's a really awesome bass, a lot of fun. And that was my gift from my wife for my uh, birthday. And then I have, uh, that's a pedal for my TC Helicon Voice Live Play, which is right there. You guys have seen those before. And I have my R24 still. I love that um, mix, or well, interface, I guess. Interface and mixer. And now as I resume my spot here, I got this M-Audio Oxygen 40, 49 keyboard. Um, I love this keyboard. It has these awesome transport buttons like, like a lot of good uh, MIDI keyboards do. So you can control DAWs and lots of cool knobbies. And now my sliders are all being used to hold my iPad. And uh, like I said in the other part, this is where I'll sit and play with my Amplify. Cool stuff there. And got my laptop there with some Christmas. Oh, look at that, the Christmas lights. They're kind of, oh, that's special. Anyways, and um, here I have my new Presonus, uh, I think they're Aris 5 speakers. I uh, just got these recently, and I really love having studio monitors again. I used to have the Rocket 5s. And they were really good too, but I also had an apartment back then, so I couldn't really use those because my neighbors did not like it. All right, and I'm still loving my uh, TC Helicon voice tone synth. Um, a lot of people might think, okay, well, why do you have this if you have the voice live play? Well, I like to be able to control all the auto tune and different functions like that, and I like to be able to pick different keys for harmonies with the uh, voice live play and then pick different keys for the um, auto-tune and, and things like that. Also, there's a little bit more control with the um, natural pitch correction that they added. A lot of fun stuff in that. I think it's still a great pedal. And then I have some uh, some video stuff there, some camera, a little uh, uh, like a gorilla pod thing, I think. Um, and I have my Zoom H4n right there. And I love this. Um, I think it's the yeah uh, live wire uh, headphone amplifier. This is really great for whenever I'm trying to record stuff and I need to crank it. Um, this is really cool. I like that a lot. I have my um, the KRK studio monitors. Really like those. And um, here's the HD 500 set up there. Still have and still love my Roland. Um, that's the official or the actual model number is the TD9KX2 and I added a symbol and this really cool like sparkle blue um, floor tom. Uh, I bought that off some guy uh, at a music store. He was like trying to sell the whole thing and um, I just wanted an extra one. And then I have my Line 6 uh, L3T down there and that kind of just hangs out. I don't really use it that often and it's kind of sad. It's an amazing speaker and I want to use it more often. So, all right, well, that's a lot of that. My... Oh, and two things really cool. Um, here is a magazine that I was in a long time ago. Um, I actually, on tour, whenever I was on tour, I got to hang out with Kill Switch and Gage and um, I went to a show that they played while I was on tour. And so I 
had them sign the front cover of this magazine that I was actually in. And there's my old band, Demise of Eros. There you go. And I didn't record that album, but I just toured with them for it. So I thought that was pretty cool. And I think my dad actually framed that for me. And then this is a studio poster, or not studio poster, <laughs> a tour poster for uh, a couple bands that we toured with. War of Ages, those guys are really, really cool. And um, got to hang out with them for a long time. And there's my old band there. Whoop. And there I am. So that's my studio, guys. Um, uh, and oh, and just in case anybody tries to break in my house while I'm trying to make music, there's my other piece of gear. That's a Beretta PX4 Storm. So, gotta be safe out there, guys. Alright, well, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a Merry Christmas.